High blood pressure is often referred to as a silent killer because it typically does not produce noticeable symptoms even when blood pressure levels are dangerously high. This asymptomatic nature means that many individuals with hypertension remain unaware of their condition and do not seek treatment until significant damage has already occurred. Because of these silent yet potentially fatal consequences, it is crucial for individuals to have their blood pressure checked regularly, especially if they are hypertensive. But did you know that sometimes blood pressure readings can be off? The test might occasionally give a higher or lower result than your actual blood pressure giving you an unnecessary scare, or you might be unaware of something that needs to address. So when is the best time to take blood pressure reading and how can you get the most accurate results? In the morning, taking blood pressure reading in the morning before eating, drinking, or taking any medication tends to be more accurate since your body isn't being impacted by anything you've been consuming or activity you've engaged in and provides a consistent baseline for comparison. It is, however, not recommended to take the reading immediately after waking up, but you should wait for around 30 minutes. When you first wake up, your body is in a horizontal position and transitioning to an upright position can temporarily affect blood pressure due to gravitational changes and hormonal fluctuations. Cortisol levels, which peak in the early morning, can also momentarily elevate blood pressure. By waiting, you give these hormonal levels a chance to stabilize, providing a more accurate baseline reading. Waiting helps ensure consistency in measurement conditions, facilitating more reliable comparisons over time and aiding in the effective management of blood pressure. To take blood pressure accurately, ensure you sit comfortably with back supported and feet flat on the floor. Place the cuff on your bare upper arm at heart level, ensuring it fits snugly but not too tight. Rest quietly for five minutes before starting and avoid talking during measurement. Record both systolic and diastolic pressures after taking two or three readings, waiting one to two minutes between each and average them for accuracy. These steps ensure consistent and reliable blood pressure measurements for effective health monitoring. Two, in the evening, taking blood pressure readings in the evening is crucial for understanding daily fluctuations and ensuring comprehensive monitoring. Measure your blood pressure before going to bed after sitting quietly for at least five minutes to ensure you are calm and relaxed as stress and physical exertion can raise blood pressure temporarily. Avoid taking readings immediately after a large meal and refrain from consuming caffeine or alcohol for at least 30 minutes prior as these can affect blood pressure levels. Take two readings one or two minutes apart, then average them for accuracy. Let's talk about the worst time to take blood pressure measurements. The worst time to take a blood pressure reading is immediately after engaging in activities or consuming substances that can temporarily elevate blood pressure, leading to inaccurate readings. For instance, taking a measurement right after exercising can result in a falsely high reading due to the increased heart rate and blood flow. Similarly, measuring blood pressure immediately after consuming caffeine or alcohol can skew results as both substances can temporarily raise blood pressure levels. Stressful situations or emotional distress should also be avoided before taking a reading as anxiety and stress can cause blood pressure to spike. Additionally, taking a reading right after eating a large meal can affect accuracy as digestion increases blood flow and temporarily raises blood pressure. Smoking just before a measurement is another poor choice as nicotine constricts blood vessels and increases blood pressure. Lastly, taking a reading when you have a full bladder should be avoided as the discomfort can cause a temporary rise in blood pressure. To ensure the most accurate readings, it's essential to take blood pressure measurements under calm, controlled conditions free from recent physical exertion, stimulant consumption, or emotional stress. Another factor to consider is the blood pressure monitor. Blood pressure monitors come in various types, each suited for different needs. Manual monitors, sphygma manometers, are highly accurate but require training. Digital monitors are user-friendly, with automatic functions and features like memory storage and irregular heartbeat detection. Wrist monitors are portable but may be less accurate if not used properly. Ambulatory monitors 
provide comprehensive 24-hour readings ideal for diagnosing conditions like white coat hypertension. Key features to consider include cuff size, ease of use, display readability, memory storage, portability, connectivity, and validation by reputable organizations. For accurate readings, prepare by sitting quietly for five minutes, avoid stimulants, ensure proper positioning, take multiple readings, and log results. Regular maintenance and occasional calibration are necessary to ensure accuracy. Using the right monitor correctly helps effectively manage blood pressure and maintain cardiovascular health. Check out our other video about the mistakes you might be unknowingly committing while taking your blood pressure measurements at home.